Back ticker symbol ORRV, currently traded at 0024 uh, in the contest on number 10 BB player. Uh, stock pick gonna be taking a look at that one right now uh, I actually went over this one on the 30th multiple times before this actually so I'm not gonna go through every single time uh, I said over here on 20 uh, 25th at support uh, no ex excuse me I said 0017 watch needs to close at 0019 uh, you closed at 0021 uh, needs to close at 0019, then watch for a bounce off of the 10, 20 day simple moving average. For all of those uh, that watched that one, you guys got that bounce off of there right there. But then on this day, the 30th, you guys gap down on the open that pushed you right back through the 10 and 20, shows strength on that one. On the 30th, when I looked at it again, I said, I'll watch if volume picks up. This one's going to go on a technical alert. The volume has dropped off. Okay, the volume has dropped off since I said that. Uh, to confirm this you have the bollinger bands uh, tightening together you're sitting at the 10-day simple moving average right now i am going to keep this simple and say 0024 needs to hold if it holds watch for that buying to pick up if that buying picks up orrv is going to start running uh, this is another one that's shaping up really well um, joe you can take over from here why i put this in here Okay. Uh, this one right here, there hasn't been any recent updates on it. The latest press release on it was uh, McCusker Holding Corp announces letter of intent to merge with Oceanic Research and Recovery Incorporated. So, I mean, it's that's basically where they stand until the, you know, merger goes through or whatever. I don't necessarily, we haven't had an update from the company since this press release on January 5th. But, I mean, obviously something like this does take time. But the even from the that press release right there, McCusker said we expect, and McCusker is the one that owns McCusker Holding Corporation. So Mr. McCusker said on January 5th, we expect that the contemplated merger will close, and we further believe that the APO transaction will provide our business with increased visibility within the marketplace. He continued, our research has indicated that our unique business model is not prevalent among pub publicly held companies. As such, we anticipate that the proposed transactions will offer prospective investors a growth investment opportunity. Our focus over the coming weeks is to exhaust our efforts to meet our obligations to, the, to closing the APO transaction. So, I mean, if you go back on that one press release, I mean, it, some of the obligations within it were... They wanted to, you know, obviously bring it, you know, the filings up to date and everything else. So, I mean, it's just, a, there's a lot of things to obviously look out for within this one. Okay. Or watch for, I should say, not look out. Because when you look out is when somebody's like throwing a ball. Like, hey, look out. This one right here, just watch, see what's going on with it. I mean, if the merger goes through, obviously he's going to be changing the name of it to, you know, something that, you know, is more suitable, which would be probably McCusker or something like that. So then the ticker change, and then obviously once they emerge in and they get their filings going, then we can look into what kind of uh, revenue McCusker has and get you a better idea of, you know, between this share structure, what the company's worth, and where it should be trading. All right. So it's all in due time. All right. Oh, RRV, if you follow this one, make sure you share this video with everybody that you know that is interested in this stock. Again, for more information, all the stuff that Joe just went over is going to be able to be found in the link below the description on the message board for the company. Uh, time and sales, uh, company profile, filings, financials, all that good stuff. ORRV, investorshangout.com forward slash live for the live stream.